Today we're going to talk about building a content moderation workflow for Drupal 8 using the content moderation module in Drupal Core. So to get started, let's enable the module. Once the content moderation module is enabled, we can head over to configuration, workflow, and go to the workflows page. And we have one default workflow available on our site called editorial. So to see how this works, we're gonna go ahead and edit it. In the default editorial workflow, content starts out as a draft, then it gets published, and eventually it can be archived. So draft content is not available on the site for people who aren't logged in as an administrator. You can go ahead and add more states. For example, if you needed to have a stage between draft and published where content was set to needs review, you could add that as a state here. Every workflow also has transitions. So transitions are how we move content from one state to another. You can see that there's transitions set up to move content between each existing state. So if you wanted to add something like the needs review state, you'd have to go and adjust the transitions as well. We also can customize what types of content each workflow applies to. So here we see that nothing is selected so far, no content types, no block types. So if, to actually get this workflow working on our site, we can go in and select content types that the workflow will apply to. Now that we've enabled the content moderation workflow, let's test it out. So I can go ahead and create an article. And you'll see that there's a save as draft section that's been added to this page. So instead of a simple checkbox for setting content to be published or unpublished, like we have by default in Drupal, we can control the current status of the content. So let's say that this content starts off as a draft. At this point, I could come along and decide to publish the draft. And then the content is live on the site, so anyone can access it. At this point in the workflow, maybe another editor comes along and decides to make an update. So when I edit the content, I again have the choice to save it as a draft or to make it published. So let's make some updates and see what this does. So I'm saving it again as a draft. Now at this point, there's still a published version of the content that doesn't include my updates and that stays live on the site. This is one of the most powerful things about having a content moderation workflow. It's the fact that you can draft changes of the content while still having a version of the content that's live on the site. If I click on latest version, I'm going to see my most recent updates. And if I click on revisions, I'm going to see all the changes. I'm going to see the original version of the content, uh, the current version, and then I can also see the most recent version that I've created. Um, which is also available under latest, the latest version tab. So to publish this content, I do the same thing. I could come here and select published and click apply. And then my updates are going to be live on the site as well. So content moves from draft to published, um, but then we can go back to having a draft version of the content as well. And each change is saved as a revision in the database. One last thing to note is that once you've installed the content moderation module, you'll have a new view available to view all the drafts of content that you've created. So on the content page, the normal content overview page, you'll have a new tab for moderated content where you can review all the content drafts that have been set up. Uh, and this view is created using content revisions. So if you actually want to build more views like this on your site, instead of creating a normal view of content, 
you want to make sure that you create the view to show content revisions, and then you'll have access to things like the moderation state of the content.